Hey everybody, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Today we're gonna to talk about Flex and how we deliver cloud infrastructure at scale. So to start, we're gonna talk about some of the value we offer to our customers at Flex. We're gonna talk then about where we fit in this OCP and cloud ecosystem. And then we're gonna go into some of our vertically integrated solutions with a special focus on critical power. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the value we offer. We offer value end to end across the product life cycle, and we do it with scale in every step of the way. So if you look at the first thing we have this here, customized solutions, it all starts with the designs. We at Flex develop reference platforms that are used as building blocks, and those building blocks are then jointly developed with our customers into their end products that we then manufacture at scale. And we find that just about all of our customers want a very customized solution that perfectly meets their requirements. Now, as you go and you build your, your bomb, you want to look at all of our vertically integrated offerings. We have a lot of different components that we offer to our customers that provides yet an additional value. It ranges from anything from a rack to a power supply to power modules, all the way to critical power infrastructure course, once again, at very large scale. And when we talk about scale, we can't neglect supply chain. We have a supply chain organization of over 10,000 supply chain professionals. They manage about 16,000 um, different suppliers and well over 700,000 different components. So it's a world-class supply chain organization. And in these days of supply chain shortages, we're able to provide a great deal of value to our customers with that supply chain capability. Moving on to manufacturing, we provide all kinds of regional capabilities for our customers. We're in 30 different countries and we have over 100 sites around the world. And what that means for our customers is that we can work with them to implement their regionalization strategies. In some cases, they may be wanting to minimize their tariffs. In other cases, they may be wanting to you know, hedge against risk with pandemics and geopolitical issues, and we have the footprint that enables that. Okay, finally, circular economy is very important to Flex, and it's really ingrained into our culture. Um, we have some very aggressive um, commitments, not goals, but their commitments around sustainability. By 2040, we're committing to be at zero, net zero greenhouse gas emissions. And that's about 10 years sooner than some of our competitors. In addition to that, we have all kinds of circular economy services we offer to our customers, and we work together to achieve these goals. Some of them are around recycling, others around refurbishment. But all in all, circular economy and this topic is very important to uh, Flex. Okay, so take a look at this picture of a data center. Now I want to talk about where Flex fits in the ecosystem for cloud or for the OCP community here. Uh, Flex provides the IT infrastructure and the critical power infrastructure for data centers. And let's look specifically at the servers and racks first. So we engage with some of our customers and do system integration. We'll integrate the different nodes into a rack, test the rack, and deploy the rack. And that's just one business model we offer to our customers. Going a little deeper, we actually design customized power supply units, battery backup units, and various power solutions for this rack for our various customer needs. Once again, all customized to their needs and built at scale. When you think about storage, this is where the building blocks come in, the reference platforms. We design these nodes such that they can be customized into our customers' end products, and then once again manufactured and deployed at scale. And finally, we can't forget the compute nodes where we can design and manufacture just about every part of that server, from the motherboard, to the various cards, to the chassis around it, including power supplies and whatever else. And it's worth, notice, no, it's worth noting 
that in our booth you'll find we have developed a DCSCM. It's a flex developed card. You could go look at it in our booth. And we actually have a demonstration of how we have OpenBMC running on it and uh, Redfish, and it has a root of trust module. It's really worth taking a look at. Okay, now let's touch on some of the vertically integrated solutions we offer. So racks to start are very important. We have a great capability to manufacture racks around the world. And in our booth, you'll be able to find some open rack designs as well as some custom designs we did for, for specific customers. Uh, next, we talked a little bit about power already, but we have our power supply units and we have our board level DC to DC power modules all on display in our booth. Okay, now I want to invite someone up to the stage to talk to about, about critical power infrastructure. In December of 2021, Flex closed on an acquisition of Anord Mardix, which provides a whole portfolio of critical power infrastructure that Graham is going to tell us about. So, Graham? All right. Thank you, Brandon. Um, so, yeah, as Brandon said, we uh, got acquired by Flex in uh, December of last year. You're probably wondering what is Anand Mardix and what does Anand Mardix bring to the Flex family. So we are essentially two European companies um, that also um, delivered product into APAC as well that existed in Ireland and the UK. The Anand side from Ireland and the uh, Mardix side from the UK. And you can probably guess that I came from the Irish side. So, But basically, we are a power solutions company uh, primarily in power distribution uh, on the LV side of, of the uh, industry. So basically, um, in 2017, we came under the one umbrella as Anard Mardix in the US and competing against the sort of multi-corporates like the, the Schneiders, the Eatons, the Siemens of the world. But we are an OEM manufacturer. So basically, you know, what is critical power and what is mission critical power and where do we sit in the sort of portfolio? So I'm going to catapult you guys outside of the server room or the data hall to the outside of the, uh, the data center building. So basically, we'll start off with our modular, podula, modular, podula, a modular solutions. So these are our power pods and our power skids. So essentially, these are low voltage switch gear solutions that sit in either a skid format or they sit in a power pod prefabricated plant room. There's many names for the same thing and that will sit outside your data center and provide critical power into the uh, data center itself. Uh, these are very, very well known in the European market. They're called rapid deployment data centers. There's multiple names for them, but it's becoming ever more present in the US and North American market. Within them modules, or we call them power modules, you can also have stick build. Stick build means that you have an electrical switch room within your data center, and that provides safe, redundant power, whether it be a, a block distribution or dis, a redundant distribution uh, within, your, within your data center. We provide a whole portfolio of products within that range. In, in the MIA market, is it all under IEC 61439-2, but in the uh, North American market, you've got two types of switch gear. You got UL891 and then you got 1558. Different sort of applications and different sort of, um, the 1558 you'd more so find into sort of lab areas and hospitals, and then the 891 is more distribution within your data center. But we go from the switch gear right down to package substations. That's when you bunt up your transformer to your distribution cabinet and have that within, uh, in your electrical pod or once again in, your, in the stick build within the facility itself. So from that, we'll take a step down. We go down to the PDU level. So it's essentially a transformer in a box with some distribution. You're taking it from your either 600 volts or your 480 volts down to either 415 or 208. So as you can see, we're ever so incrementally getting down to the server rack level for power. Um, over at our demo, you're going to see that we have what we call our open channel busway. There's two different ways of really in existence for getting power to your rack at this level. So you'd have, have a remote power panel, which we call RPPs, that sit on the, on the cage or it would sit at the end of the rack. And essentially, that would have breakers in it with whips 
cables essentially going down powering your um, powering your racks. What you will see at our, our booth though, we have a, a product called a data bar. Data bar is essentially an open channel busway system that suspends from the ceiling over your server racks and essentially you've got a tap off box with a breaker in it for protection that will insert anywhere in that channel, open channel busway that gives you flexibility of where it actually sits and where you drop cord receptacle power into your server. So just going back up a little bit, so that's, you either have an RPP or you have a data bar solution. What we also do have on our uh, portfolio is, is simple distribution boards and static transfer switches, which are multiple different positions on the single line. We do also encourage you to come over and have a look at our demo of the data bar. We do it from 250 amp up to 800 amp solutions, and we have multiple different tap-off box configurations that are flexible to anybody or any client's design. We do have a, a product called the iBar, and we do have a product called the Re, uh, Resin Bar. Now, they are all EU um, products right now. We do have a plan to bring over the iBar over to the States. It's going through UL listing right now, but essentially that is your backbone power. That is taking your 800 amp to 6,000 amp sandwich bus busway um, for, the, for power solutions. So with that, if there's no other questions from me, I'm gonna bring back on Brandon. All right, thank you, Graham. Okay, so basically we just wanted to wrap up and invite you to our booth at C2, and we have a lot of things on display there from what Graham just talked about to our DCSCM, and uh, look forward to talking to you. Thank you for your time.